Alright people, I'm doing this video a lot sooner than I expected, but we finally got our ban list here for the TCG. So, uh, it is effective from September 18, 2017, and we actually got an update. Sometimes they give us updates, sometimes they don't, but uh, the next update after this will be no sooner than November 2017. So, uh, I mean, I'm this is just reaction to my first time actually looking at the list. Uh, I mean, I can clearly see some cards right here, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and go down and give my two cents, and uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time uh, there's another banless update, or if I decide to return and do some content. So, uh, starting it off, we have a Dynamite ban, so that is a, a pretty big hit for a True Draco. Uh, you know, it got limited in the OCG, and uh, I thought that he definitely deserved to get hit. Banned is... Wow, you know, I thought probably limited would probably be the best, but to be banned, I, mean, I don't know. But of course, they have masterpiece banned, so I'm kind of wondering what the true Draco deck would do without him, because he's definitely uh, the combo starter. He's definitely the main guy. But it's just you know, uh, masterpiece being the boss monster, Dynamite is definitely uh, one of the main guys. So to have him uh, being uh, banned, I don't know, I don't know. And uh, all right, next we have Grand Soil. So uh, it's tough that dinosaur uh, kind of. Uh, FTK, OTK, and, uh, I mean, it's just a hit for dinosaurs in general that, uh, you know, we're kind of hitting these earth monsters, so, uh, for Grand Soil to go from three to ban, I mean, wow, I mean, that's definitely not a card that, uh, I would have predicted, but, uh, yeah, yeah, so, uh, that a kind of indirect hit towards, uh, dinosaurs, alright, um, uh, we have the True King, uh, the Disaster, so the Earth True King as well, so I'm guessing it's another hit towards, I don't know. So I'm probably guessing that they probably didn't hit some of, like, the True King Shield spell or anything like that. Uh, the Agram, they probably just decided to go ahead and hit, uh, some of the True King for Earth and some of the True King for, uh, of course, the deck, but dinosaurs in general. Um, Denglong, yes, yes. I mean, OCG limited down to one, and I'm thinking, like, you only need one Denglong, so we decided to ban him. So, good, good. That's a good choice. And, wow, Digusto Emerald as well. Ah, that sucks. That sucks for my Uvalda, because, of course, you know, I used, uh, that Goose Admiral to summon back uh, Doom Shaman, so that, that kind of sucks as well, but you know what? I mean, it was kind of a long time coming. I mean, him and the Lava Chain were always kind of in cahoots together, being able to, you know, uh, that Goose Admiral putting so much work back in Necro's era, and he's just been kind of that one guy, not even for his uh, summon from the graveyard, but just his kind of recycling effect. So, well, here in the um, TCG, we have Avers Banwell. Over there, they have two Avers. Uh, the fact that you could just go ahead and go into a generic rank 4 and go into a custom roll, and of course what Emerald did for um, Zoo as well is uh, warranted, I guess, to be banned. So, uh, yeah, the Goose Star Emerald banned. Alright, because you really only played one. Sometimes you play two, but generally you played one. And I'm like, I like how TCG does that, where, there are, where instead of being like, they, you know, duels only play one of a card, and instead of just limited to one, it's just like, we only played one anyway, they're like, no, it's banned. So, yeah, and... Uh, let's go ahead and see. Oh, yes, there we go. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> you know, some people were debating on how to hit Zoo. Do we hit Dryden? Do we hit Brabble? You ban them both, you know? Uh, and, uh, obviously that's some, uh, set precedence from the OCG was actually really great. But yeah, you got, you had to ban them both. They both had to go. So, uh, get out of here, Zoo. That's a great hit. And I'm kind of wondering what else they're going to do for Zoo. Uh, they could probably go ahead and, uh, possibly ban, uh, the, the spell card. As well, maybe put Rat down to one because that could also carry engines. But the fact that you just got rid of the two best uh, Zoo Exceeds is definitely uh, a good hit. And this, this is a lot of bands. Like, this is a lot of bands. You have no, no new spells banned, all right, and no new traps banned, all right. So, uh, interesting, interesting. All right, so moving on to limited. Oh, Ignis. Uh, that was not really one of the, the, the true kings that I would thought would have got hit, but I guess this is hitting the consistency in general. So, I'm not sure there's going to be any hits towards uh, Masterpiece, but the fact that you banned uh, Dynamite and hit Ignis, I mean, you definitely hurt that deck's consistency. Uh, now, no, I didn't see any hits towards uh, Diagram or anything like that, so maybe maybe a limit of terraforming your Diagram and just nuke that deck's consistency. Uh, Maxi, stone limit to one. Alright, alright. Thought maybe they would ban it, but now they're like, hey, hey, get sacked. This one. Miscellaneous source. Alright, I mean, obviously he was a searcher for dinosaurs, so it's gonna be him or terraforming or one of the two, you know, so, uh, yeah, yeah, or fossil things, but yeah, miscellaneous source is a good choice right here. Uh, Rap here, uh, yeah, I guess that. I was like, Rap here, even at two, there's still some shenanigans, even with Dryden and, and Bramble Bands. Rap here could probably be put down to, to, uh, 
to one because you could still just summon a rap here and then summon another rap here from your deck. So that's a pretty powerful play, uh, despite the the banning of the extra deck monster. So yeah, rap here to one. That's that's fine. Uh, Dark hole. Now that that's the one that you you don't really expect. You know, uh, is that dark hole goes back down to one. So um, I'm. We didn't see Regeki get banned, because we know spells are banned, so I'm guessing one Dark Hole, one Regeki, and I'm hoping, hoping that if you're going to hit Dark Hole down to one, please tell me you hit Slumber down to one as well, so, uh, Gateway back. I don't like that. I, I have, I have PTSD about freaking Gateway, but six MRIs aren't really doing much. OCG, I believe, has three Gateways, so I guess, finally, you know, I mean, look how long it takes TCG to, you know, lighten up their grip when it comes to hitting cards. They're like... You know, you'll get your card back in like five, six years. So, I mean, uh, Gateway, I don't remember correct, Gateway got banned back in like maybe like 2012? Like, it's been a while since uh, Gateway got hit. So, the fact that it's back after all this time, um, now whether we up it to three, like in OCG, I'm not sure, but, you know, knowing them, they'll probably just keep it one. And then there you go, there's Slumber. So, one Regeki, one Dark Hole, one Slumber. So, I mean, Slumber had to get hit anyway, but. Uh, I didn't guess Dark Hole, so interesting, interesting. Uh, any more? Uh, yep, Regeki's right there, so one of each, I guess. Uh, any more new hits? And True King's Return, so that's the Revival Trap card. I mean, yeah, that's a good hit as well. So, uh, but uh, the thing is, I don't see any terraforming on here. I don't see any diagram on here. So instead of him terraforming a diagram, they're just like, nah, we're just gonna tear apart your monsters and your. Uh, so we definitely took a different approach than. Uh, then OCG, definitely, definitely. Uh, and of course, with the deck winning worlds, with dinosaurs and that true king kind of variant, I mean, it, you know, you won't be seeing that deck next time, next uh, year for worlds, because we kind of just tore it down our way, and OCG tore it down their way, and combined, I mean, it's just a wow, you know, that's nothing. So, yeah, big hits, big hits. All right, let's go ahead and move on to um, some of them. BLS to two. Ugh. Oh my god, that's scary, you yeah. know. OCG already did it, and I guess we're just, you know, following suit, you know, but god, god, you know. Remember when BLS was bad enough for him to be at, you know, at least at two or three? I think he's at three in OCG, and for him to go up to two in CCG, that's crazy. That, 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 I mean, that is literally clearly an example of power creeping you, you know. The fact that, you know, this guy who was banned for so long is going up to two and three is just crazy. Uh, Lester, alright, so. Instead of one luster, since pendulums are kind of, you know, stepping back with the new link and how they change because of that, uh, they guess they're like, okay, you can have two lusters. Mathematician back up to two. I mean, Mathematician is still a powerful card, you know, being able to drop any level four large of grid ride and then being able to even out this is a fact. In fact, so Mathematician back up to two. I'm not sure what it'll do, you know, when the current format, the is going to decide to bring that back up to two. I think I'll still at two. You know, some cards that you think that would, they would up to three, they never did, you know, like wind up condition or anything like that. She's kind of listed at two uh, anymore. Uh, so, of course, the Errata for Brio. Uh, so Brio is up to two and, uh, Hyper Librarian up to two. Okay. Uh, brain control. So brain control, of course, got its errata. Brain, brain control is not that great. You know, mind control is still better. So you can clearly see how mind control is still at uh, one. But brain control is errata. Mm -mm. So all right, that goes up to probably up to three. Um, and burial from different dimensions. So I believe OCG did burial to uh, to three. So we're doing it to two. But of course, uh, if you scroll up here, grass is still limited to. Uh, to one up here. Uh, here it is. I was looking for grass looks good. It's that grass looks good. So yeah, it's still in its one. So, I mean, of course, that card, uh, burial is great for like inferno and stuff, but you know, you only got one grass. So, and, um, let's go on. Uh, okay, Elstral Fusion was limited, now semi limited. I mean, okay, that's fine. Um, preparation of rights, you know, OCG did it too, you know, I guess we're like, okay, I guess Necros are definitively dead, so, I mean, if you can throw in preps and pre-preps, I mean, you got super consistency, so, uh, I guess that's kind of the precedence on OCG as well, all right, and those are all of the summer limits, let's go to the unlimited, so, scrolling down, we have the Breeze Dragon, finally, you know, uh, I guess that, I, I kept predicting uh, the Breeze Dragon to go, uh, to, uh, three, and it never happened. Honest finally at three as well, but, ooh, I mean, that, that can be scary, you know? I bet you're gonna be super salty if someone ever drops a triple honest on you. Uh, Rescue Cat, alright, so it was limited with this Rada, we decided to just go ahead and take it off the list. 
uh, rescue rabbit to three. Wow. Wow. I mean, that's probably a long time coming as well. And Summoner Monk, Richard Rockwell Serrata, charged finally up to three, Dragon Queen finally off the list, and we did it just like, um, so which of the Black Forest, I'm not sure if we got its run, uh, here in the TCG, but I assume so, because it went from band to three, so, so we got its run just like Sangan. And, uh, similar with, uh, OCG, we decided to just unban Labor Knights. Now, of course, we don't really have it like, uh, OCG with Cleves and Tower Turbo. You think, of course, you still have Tower of Pain, you still have Scatter 1. But the fact that, you know, they brought Lusted or 2, that they brought Wavering Eyes, so maybe you can do something with that, because, I mean, Wavering Eyes is a searcher for any Pendulum. So, you just crack your own scales and go ahead and search. So, well, Dragon Review finally up to 3. So, after all of this time, Dragon Rulers was back in 2012. After all of this time, five years later, we finally have Dragon Review back up to 3 uh, for both us and the OCG. Finally. Like, I think, I think. If I remember correctly, it's been a couple of days since that last video. But I think they brought Dragon Queen up to two or three, and we finally brought off the list. So finally, charge. I mean, Light Swords—they literally have all of their cards back. So wow, like triple charge, Light Brigade, triple everything. So holy crap! And it's not like uh, Light Swords are doing too terrible, especially with Nerva. So the fact that it got all that. Summoner Monk is an interesting one. I didn't think they were going to move Summoner Monk to three. You know, uh, I guess maybe they want to promote the Link Clan. It's like it's like you hit. Rap here because it kind of does what Summoner Monk does except just with itself with Zoo. But Summoner Monk, you know, kind of does the same thing. But three Summoner Monk and three Rescue Rapid. And, you know, Cat as well. It's just like they really want Rescue to be a really, really, you know, played card. All right. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. It's overall, this list is actually kind of what you would expect. It really is. You know, there's a lot of, uh, a little bit more liberal than I, I would anticipate. You know, there's a lot of these things that I probably would, you know, never predict. So, for uh, TCG to do this is interesting, I don't know. So, uh, True Kings, they got the D. You know, Zoo, they, of course, got the D. Uh, Dinosaurs, they got the D as well. So, it's interesting to see, uh, you know, our take on the list is definitely different than the OSGs, but it's still a pretty good list, non nonetheless, you know. Um, probably one of the better lists that I've seen from uh, from TCG in a long time, you know, because they actually address the problems. I'm so used to TCG just kind of lollygagging around and not addressing the problems, but they actually did. They actually hit um, what they were going that they needed to hit. They actually did it, you know, uh, and uh, brought back probably a handful of cards that probably people wanted to bring up anyway. So uh, overall, pretty good list, Konami. I'm I'm impressed. I'm impressed. You actually didn't fuck it up this time. So, uh, yeah, there you go. There's my reaction slash, you know, uh, kind of review um, and give my two cents of the uh, September 2017 ban. So, pretty good, pretty good. So, tell me what you guys think of the comment section below. So, of course, I'll be back. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, really. You know, life is still just as hectic as usual. And uh, I'm still not too into the game or to producing content. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. So thank you guys for watching, and thank you guys for all the support. Uh, thank you guys for watching the last video. It's nice to see you guys, and nice to see you guys again so soon. And uh, I don't know, hopefully I'll see you guys again. Uh, I mean, I mean, if anything, if indicates what I'm going right now, I'll see you guys know earlier in November. But I mean, that's still pretty close. You know, uh, it's like mid September to go to September, October, November, and then have another list. I mean, I doubt Konami would do something like that, but interesting, interesting. So, no sooner than November, so you're not going to say anything sooner, but of course it could be November, December, or January, you know. They're not saying, like, hey, we're not going to do a list, you know, but before or around November, but still, nonetheless, that they're giving us something. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, uh, and I will see you guys when I see you guys. Alright, thanks for watching.